Hi, want to learn how to create stunning picture transitions like this in PowerPoint? The technique is so surprisingly simple that even beginners can do. Once you understand the base technique, you would be able to come up with your own creative variations like this that can really captivate your audience. Sounds interesting? Then keep watching. Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. We make creative PowerPoint tutorials to help professionals make impactful presentations. If this is your first time to this channel, consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss anything. Now let us jump right in to create a stunning picture transition. Remember, we'll be using morph transition in PowerPoint to create the effect. Here I am on a new slide in a new presentation. The first thing I'm going to do is to create vertical panels that allow us to create the beautiful picture transition. For that, let me go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From rectangles, let us pick up the first rectangle tool and then draw a rectangle like so that covers the vertical height of the slide. Let me go to Shape Outline, say No Outline and then select this picture, go to Shape Format and ensure that the width is 1.9. So I'm going to hit 1.9 and hit Enter. This is the ideal width we want. Now, let me make a duplicate of this by pressing Ctrl D and I'm going to place the duplicate so that it touches the previous one exactly and then I'm going to hit Ctrl D again, 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 again and again. Now, we have the entire slide covered by vertical panels. Now, the next step is to insert our picture. So, let me go to Insert, go to Pictures and I can choose Stock Images which come as part of PowerPoint and I can choose any type of image. Let me use some photos of nature. So let me go here and say nature and hit enter and I have a whole bunch of nature related photos. Let me look for something that looks visually interesting. I can see that this one is quite interesting. So let me select that and say insert. Now you can see that the picture dimension and the slide dimension seems to vary. So I'm going to select the picture, go to crop in picture format tab, click on the drop down menu, go to aspect ratio and choose 16 is to 9 orientation because that is the slide ratio. Let me hit escape and then let me right click on this and cut it and then right click on the empty area here and then go to format background option. Here let me choose picture or texture fill option. Since I've already cut the image that I wanted, I can recall it from clipboard. So let us go to picture source and say clipboard. Now we have that beautiful image in the background. Now you're not able to see it because we have got these panels on top of them. Now what we are going to do is to fill all these panels with slide background. So let me select all the panels by clicking on one of the panels and by pressing Ctrl A. Then use this option called slide background fill in the fill option in effects. So let me select that and as soon as I did that you can see that all these panels are now filled with the image in the background. Now to show you how this one looks, I can always select any panel and move it and you can see that that panel has the image of the background. Now I'm going to duplicate this slide. So right click on this and create a duplicate slide. Go to transitions and say morph transition. Now I'm going to rotate the panels some of them vertically and some of them laterally so that we have a stunning effect. So let me select the first panel, hold the control button so you can select the alternate panels like this by clicking on them and then go to home, go to arrange, go to rotate and say flip vertical. Now you will not see any difference whatsoever at this stage, don't bother. Now let us select the remaining panels by using the same technique. I'm going to select the second panel here, hold the control button and select the alternate ones and then I'm going to flip them horizontally this time. Go to arrange, rotate and then say flip horizontal. Now we have already done the magic that is required. We just need to ensure that this picture in the background is changed. So let me insert another picture this time. Go to insert, go to pictures and choose another image from stock images. Once again, let us pick up a nature related picture, go to landscape and here I have a whole bunch of options available. Let me choose this one that looks quite nice and say insert. 
Then once again, make sure that it is cropped to the slide dimension. So let us go to crop in picture format, go to aspect ratio and say 16 is to 9 and then hit escape. So you can select this cropped image and then right click on this and cut it. And then once again in the empty space, right click and go to format background. Once again, choose picture or texture fill. Picture source remains clipboard. And now we have a different image in the background. Now I can click on any part of the slide and you can see that these are comprised of panels. Now let us go to the first slide. Then go to slideshow and see the magic we have created. This is the first slide. On a click, you can see the magic. It's a beautiful picture transition. All that has happened is we moved from one picture to the next. All these flipping panels have provided you nice visual distraction so that the transition looks magical. Now, once you learn this base technique, you can take this idea to the next level. Let me create a variation of this transition. Let me add a new slide here by hitting enter. Let me add a random shape. Let us go to auto shapes gallery. From basic shapes, I'm going to choose this one called as frame and then hold the shift button down and draw a frame like this. I can always move this yellow handle so that I can adjust the width of the frame and then I can rotate it by 45 degrees by going to this option here in format shape called as size and properties and go to size and say we need to rotate this by 45 degrees and hit enter and I'm going to place this right in the center. Hold the shift button down as you increase the size like so. Then you can make a couple of copies. Let me press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and I'm going to place a copy like this. Once again, hold the Ctrl button down as you click and drag the shape to create another copy like so. You can always click on the zoom out option and you can adjust the position like this. There is no fixed formula as to how these frames need to be arranged on the slide. Just go freehand. Once done, let me select all these frames. Go to shape outline and say no outline. And then I'm going to fill the background with a picture by going to insert pictures and go to stock images. Let us choose some kind of sport related picture. So let us go to sport here and hit enter. We have quite a few interesting options available. Let me choose this one and say insert. Now that picture really looks quite stunning. Once again, adjust the size to match the slide dimension. So let us go to crop aspect ratio and say 16 is to 9. Now this is the right dimension. Let me hit escape, right click and cut this image and then right click on the empty area, go to format background and say picture or texture fill and say picture source is clipboard. Now what I'm going to do is to fill these frames with the image in the background. So I have selected all these frames and then say slide background fill in the fill option in the first one called fill and line effects. Now you can't really see those frames. That is because these frames have the same background fill as the slide. Now let me duplicate the slide by right clicking and using duplicate slide option. And here let me choose the first frame like so and then move its position. I can use my right arrow key to move it anywhere on the slide. It doesn't really matter exactly where you want to move it. You can select the one in the middle and then rotate it by 180 degrees. Now, when I select this and go to size and properties, you would notice that we have a rotation of 45 degrees added to it. Now I'm going to add another 180 degrees, which means the total is 225 degrees. So let us select this and say 225 and hit enter. Now that square frame is rotated by 180 degrees. Once again, let us pick up one of these frames in the right hand side and then move it to the left. I'm using my left arrow key. There is no fixed place where the movement needs to be. We're just trying to shuffle the position of the frames. So we have done the shuffling. Now it is time for us to change the background. So let me go to insert, go to pictures, go to stock images and let us pick up another sport related image. When I go down, I see some very interesting options available here. Maybe I can choose this and say insert. Adjust the dimensions by going to crop, aspect ratio and say 16 is to 9. That looks good. Let me right click on this and cut it. Then right click on the empty area, go to format background, picture or texture fill and say picture sources clipboard. Now the background is changed. 
Beautiful. Now let me go to the thumbnail view, go to transitions and to this slide I am going to apply morph transition. Now when I go to the previous slide, go to slideshow. This is the first slide. Then on a click you can see that the transition happens in a very interesting way. Now with this as the base, you can come up with your own creative variations. When it comes to showcasing pictures, you can apply any amount of creativity. I'm going to show you some example templates taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle where I show you different ways you can showcase pictures with animation. Now take a look at this template where we showcase three pictures. On a click, we show the first one, the second one and the third one. Let me show you a variation. Here we have three pictures. On a click, we put the spotlight on the first one, the second one and the third one. Another example is this one where a hand comes and drops the picture like this. Can you see here? It's a very interesting way to present different pictures. Let me show you a different variation. Here we are going to talk about the images and the text associated with them. Once I have the first one shown, the second one is shown like this and the third one. A variation is this one where we show one picture and the explanation and then we shift the picture and the explanation and it goes on like this for four pictures. Another example is this one where we show four points one after another with the associated image like so. And all these images can be replaced with your own image so you can create these slides in a matter of seconds. All these templates and more are available as part of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle version 2.0. This bundle is a collection of 4200 PowerPoint templates that are professionally animated so you captivate your audience with your beautiful slides. I will leave a link to this useful product in the description box below the video. You can click on the link, come check out this page and see the various kinds of options available for you to make an impact on your audience. If you are a professional who needs to make presentations as part of your profession, then investing in comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle is definitely worth it. To sign up for our 25 creative ideas free PowerPoint mini training, you can click on the link here. If you like this video, give this video a like, share it with your friends and hit the subscribe button to see more such videos. To watch the latest video in presentation process channel, you can click on the link here. Thank you.